alive. You want a thing? I'm gonna double check. Oh, I guess I have to double check. Wait, where's the where's the chat? There we go. Oh boy. Yeah, what is all that? It's nothing. I know what I'm doing. There we go. Hey. Here we go. Stuff. Ah, there it is. Yeah, okay. Hey. Hi. Hey, it's Pat. <laughs> I'm a Pat. We got Pat here. No, I'm telling. I'm saying you. There's no Pat in the chat. Oh. Uh, Pat in well, the chat. I'm, I am still a Pat. You could not take this away from me. All right. Just so we can read the comments. All right. And I'm just gonna check it out. I can't read anything. From here, so I'm just. <laughs> I can't because it. Yeah, then it'll. Yeah. God. It's for the stream purposes. Stupid technology. It's just stupid on my. My name. Alright. Listen to it. Sorry. Technical difficulties. We've had one or two. I can't hear. Can you guys hear us? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, I heard something. I'm just gonna lower the game volume a little bit. Yeah, we're the <laughs> we're about the remote again. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't have to do that. I uh, got it. It's on here. All right. Okay. This guy went missing for a good five, ten minutes. Freaking out. What's up? What system is this? This is the Sega one. What's up, guys? Thanks for joining us. Hi all. All right, so just uh, let us know how the audio is. Hopefully everything's good. Looks good on my end. Or looks good? Sounds good. Well, I feel left out, so I'm going to go through an, an ad and then check it. Well, <laughs> loud, Pat. Turn it down. I can hear me. I can hear. I can hear. Clear. Clear. <laughs> go away. Okay. Okay. What's up, everybody? Cheers to anybody else out there playing the drinking game. I'll just do this because I really... I don't actually identify people better by their icons than I do by their names. I'm new, so I'm just going to go turquoise one. Go ahead, tur 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 turquoise. Okay, purple. I, I can move this a little bit. There we go. We can read more of the chat. Okay. I think. I have to go back to YouTube and make sure that was okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to upset the I can pull mine up. It's super loud if you want to if you want to hear it and see it. No, it's okay. Okay. Okay, it looks good still. We are still in business. What's up everybody? We're doing a sort of impromptu live stream. Felt like it's a good chance to finally meet Pat live. Howdy. Again. Some more. So here we are. Thank you for the mostly uh, warm reception from what I've seen. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. Trying to trying to do everybody proud. I think everybody uh, appreciates what you're doing, Pat. There is no pride in this dojo. <laughs> I tried to kid. Maybe. <laughs> Just rewatched that and the remake recently. Like the, the, the Jaden Smith remake? Mm -hmm. Oh, why? It's not as bad as you think. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> All right, we're gonna. I thought you were talking like the the new one, the Ralph Macchio, like where he's 50. Oh, yeah, I like that one. Yeah, okay. But no, but I, the, the remake with Jaden Smith isn't that bad either. Mm. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's not the Karate Kid, but it's not that bad. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, maybe you do want to just pull it up on your phone without, like, audio so you could maybe answer questions if you can't read it. I can do that. that. Yeah, I can't. I can't read. <laughs> yeah, so we're just going to play some Chester Cheetah. This is the Sega version. Hopefully it looks so right. We are playing it not on a Genesis. We're playing at a, what is it called? This is the Sega Genesis, uh, like the, the classic by R, R Games? AT, at Games? I, I don't <laughs> AT know. A-T-R. A-T-R. <laughs> R. R Games, at Games. 
Um, you know it's top quality because I believe it was found at Walgreens a day before Christmas. So. Oh, it's the Walgreens one? Oh, it's the Walgreens one. Yeah. Uh, I see it all the time. Yeah. Walgreens. I'm always like, who buys that? It works. Oh, it was a Christmas present. <laughs> oh, okay. Thanks, brother. Uh, hey, brother. All right, it's going to be loud for a second, and then I'm going to turn it down. Dan drinks. Wait. Thanks, wait. brother. Wrong stream. Yes, it's, I'm still drinking. It's not definitely as much as I was on Saturday. He's he's back. <laughs> it was weird because it was, what was it, like a month and a half, two months of no drinking at all? 50 days. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds terrible. Sobriety is great. Why would you do that to yourself? How did you deal with life and its problems? Um, I did it. <laughs> yeah. Ah, New Orleans, one of my favorites. I'm actually going back there in uh, hopefully March. Cool. I won't ever do it again in June or July. That was a terrible idea from. Oh God, I died. From my perspective. Oh, what is happening? Get up, you dumb cheetah. Frustration begin. Here we go. What you sipping on? Just Coors Light. Coors Light for now. We have. There's other things. Sorry if I can continue to look down at my phone. I'm trying to read the comments as, as we're playing. So what's anybody doing on this Wednesday night? Wednesday? Thursday. Thursday. Holy shit. I wish it was Wednesday. I'd have one more day off. <laughs> I'm happy it's Thursday. Thanks. It's Work every day. True story. <laughs> Look out, man. Look at all these cool guys wearing sunglasses. Look at the spring with the sunglasses. I don't trust them. Why doesn't the boat have sunglasses? Mm -hmm. He also wears his sunglasses at night. Ah, oh, you ruined it. So we're playing the Sega one, anybody just joining, and I'm doing terrible, because I was kind of hoping we wouldn't do the stream so we wouldn't have to play this game. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't wait to see Pat play. God, just go through it! Yep. There you go. So the, let me explain the game to you, Pat. Um, you have to find the pieces of your motorcycle in every mm -hmm. level, and once you find your motorcycle you piece, you're leave. allowed to exit. Oh yeah, you watched the video. <laughs> yeah, I was there. Yeah, this is definitely... Um, See, trying to get back up the pipe sucks. Yeah. The music definitely sounds different on the at Sega. <laughs> at Sega! <laughs> it's definitely at a lower pitch. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Well, it's okay, because I got it at a discount. <laughs> or how, how are about a discount. The at. I'm out of at puns. Here we go. Excellent. Tires. We're going to need those. Just <laughs> Feel free to uh, read any interesting comments or also any excited for the uh, the Mortal Kombat three one. By the way, that one I'm kind of psyched for that. Oh yeah, Pat's already like, here's I got the thumbnail ready. I'm like, dude, I didn't even write this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, so here's what I'm thinking. <laughs> we discussed some ideas I had, and maybe we'll discuss a few more. So I just. It's a process. It's a process. Yeah, we because I don't want to do what I did for the second Mortal Kombat episode and just have Scorpion do that. So we gotta figure something out. We have a character in mind that we're gonna have cameo. We're not gonna tell you guys. Or should we? <laughs> Alright, spoiler alert. I'm getting knives surgically implanted into my <laughs> arms for it. You know, it's only his third episode and he's already getting knives surgically implanted. Could uh, you ask for anything more, people? Seriously. Dedication. I hit the oh, guitar. The guy, the guitar. <laughs> you guys got a. And it's not even hurting. Thirty and seconds. Nope, nothing. So this is you know the tunnel game where you hold your breath. Same thing. You just gotta hold your breath. And yep. See if you can outlast it. Oh god. I'm just gonna chug a beer until it's done. Mm -hmm. Jesus. <laughs> you gotta really pace yourself when you chug that beer, huh? <laughs> I mean, they only give you so much. Like, you, can, you can't really pace yourself if you're chugging. You have to have backup. That's why the fridge is right there. Wait a minute. Uh, you get that guitar again, we're breaking out the Jameson. <laughs> no, luckily it doesn't regenerate. 
<laughs> How uneventful is that? Look at that fast <laughs> swing speed. It's just, uh. <laughs> so anti -climatic. So I was thinking of a, a movie idea today. Mm -hmm. It was a horror comedy <laughs> about vi people's video games like all coming to life and just starting killing them. Mm -hmm. that, was, that was the premise. I didn't exactly think of the plot, but that's just sort of the premise. Video games come to life and start killing people, and it's a horror comedy. I want to do a, uh, I was talking about this the other night, a five-minute uh, short film, and it's just called Montage Movie, and the entire movie is just a five-minute montage, but the entire story is relayed within that five-minute montage. You could do that. That's crazy, too, because it's like, I was just doing something related to montages. I'm putting together a montage power hour. Okay. So I went on YouTube, and it just saved all these montages. <laughs> so, like... Talk about montage. Montage. Yeah, yeah. That's definitely one of them. Yeah. Oh, God. You have to. You gotta throw that in there. And every song from Rocky sped up. Sped up? Just so you can fit them all in. You're about to die. Oh my god, I was burping, sorry. Jesus. What? 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 Oh, what's up, Blade Blur? So you know, you're not familiar. Blade Blur is another YouTuber out there. He's a good friend of the channel. Howdy, sir. Uh, yeah. He says, what's up? Oh, Kevin Ball. He's also... He's just with his regulars and good old friends. We'll be coming. Oh! Ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> now look at look at this platform. You think I can get through this without dying here? You would think so. Oh wow, here we go. Don't worry, I will not get the guitar. You can duck under it, yeah. Sega. Can't do that in Super Nintendo. Nope. Your name is Irish. I'm half Irish. Nice to meet you. <sighs> so you can't kill these guys. They nope. just get nothing on. in this game dies like they you, in, in the Sega just... version. Yeah. In the Super Nintendo version, they die. Oh! Uh, Stay away! Man, this reminds me of a game where you, you your life was based on the amount of coins you had, and when you mm -hmm. got hit, you would lose those coins, but then could re recollect them. And no, you continue. don't. You don't. What? Lose no, no. You don't lose anything. That no, that's not how this game works. I know. <laughs> oh man, it's so weird. It definitely changes the pitch of the music. This is a good thing. Yeah. So it just made a bad game even worse because of that. <laughs> How are you supposed to do this? Like, this is the level where it just gets really garbage. The boss fight in this level, the just getting to the boss is garbage. The controls are garbage, garbage, garbage game. <laughs> Alright. It's that guy from Star Trek and reading Rainbow. I was gonna say it's it's, it's a hippo dressed as a rapist, or he's dressed as Cyclops. You see the new Dark Phoenix trailer? I did. What do you think? Um, it looks a hell of a lot better than Apocalypse. <laughs> it's, what? What is that? You see that glitch? Yeah. It's, it's the act. <laughs> They're adding us. Just go run. Run. Not running the glitch. <laughs> Trying to outrun glitches. Come on. What is that thing? Right, the thing between that ant's legs? Yeah. That's not... I know, we don't talk about that. We don't talk. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, make it. Make it. Make it. Make it! He made it. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, I'm so happy somebody just threw up uh, Shaq Fu. We have Shaq Fu. But we just did a worst of, so I don't want to do Shaq Fu right now. Uh, you mean best of? Right, it might be. While best listening of. to Shaq Diesel playing in the background, somebody gave him a career. What's Shaq Diesel? Oh, his rap album. His uh -huh. rap album? <laughs> I'll let you write the script then. Yeah. <laughs> you seem to know a lot about Shaq. Oh, that no, we made it! Okay. Whew! So in the Super Nintendo, he just stands, but in Sega, he actually lies down. Mm hmm. And look at this, I can go all the way to the top of the screen on Sega. You can't do that on Super Nintendo. But these are the small details I left out of the video, people. Uh, I would love to do a Mardi Gras parade, but I would be... Uh, the amount of people around me, I think, would just drive me insane. I love the city, but I don't, I don't think I'll ever do a Mardi Gras. Just crowds-wise? No. In uh, 
New Orleans. New Orleans? Yeah. I thought, you know, I went to New Orleans for my 30th. I thought my 30th birthday was on Mardi Gras. Me and my friends, we all botched it. We were not there for Mardi Gras. No. We just got that really drunk. I mean, I've been to New Orleans a couple times before. What is it? I think it's the 5th. I think it's coming up on uh, March 5th this year. Ooh, what is my favorite game? That's a tough call. Good question. It Blade is. Blur. <laughs> Jeez. Well, I could just throw Are a few. Are we going you all like. time? Ah. Just throw out a few you like. I'm a, I mean, I'm an old school Nintendo guy, so, like, all Zelda, right. all the, not all the Zeldas. Ah. If we're going to Zelda, Ocarina. Ocarina's got my heart. Mario. I gotta go Mario 3 for, like, the old school. Good thing! Get the yep, thing! Nailed it. I didn't. How nope. did I not get the thing? Dude, look at this. The way they throw this freaking cannonball. Yeah. Uh, All right, get it. Oh. Metal Gear. Metal Gear, which one? Metal, first one. The first still, one. Eh? Like that was my first experience with that. You mean Metal like, Gear Solid? Yeah. yeah. Mine's three. That's my favorite Metal Gear. Which? What was three? It was with Boss. Yeah. Okay. Why'd you defect? Is that the one where you run around naked on the oil barge? No, that's two. That's two? That <laughs> shit was just hysterical to me. <laughs> Especially he, that you can still do pull-ups with your the, with your junk out. You could do uh, his jump. <laughs> and he could yeah, the, the cartwheel. You could see his taint. Yep. <laughs> uh. Oh my god, this is so bizarre with the, the music difference. Yeah. This is... Oh, and Castlevania. Castlevania's gotta be in there. Which one? Uh, one and two, I, I will never not love because the music still gets stuck in my head. Oh, yeah. I mean, I like I never even played two, but I love Bloody Tears. So. Yep. Uh, Symphony of the Night was great. Symphony of the Night was, what was that? I think that was the original PlayStation. Yeah, that right? was the PS1. Yeah. Oh. That was a great one. Because you went, you could play it first all the way through as Alucard, then you can play it as uh, uh, Richter or Maria. But it's a bitch playing as Richter because you don't have the power, so you can't. 100% the castle, or unless they account for that. Blade Blur, loving them naked cartwheels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, get away from me! You stupid bat! Yeah, check it out. This is like, yeah. uh, his jump is just like, uh, Raiden's jump, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Legs spread, uh -huh. buddy. <laughs> I like how, you yeah, know, the breeze. you see when he does a complete split, his tail has disappeared because it would look really weird if yeah. he did a complete split and there was a tail there. It wouldn't look like a tail. There's more than one way to get your hands dirty. There you go. There's the chest of <laughs> cheetah. Dude. You have a bat stuck on your foot, sir. I have a belt. Ah, I have a bat in my belt tower. Yeah, that's it. Belfry. Yep. Jumbo dance. <laughs> uh, you can probably quote it more than I can. Oh, why am I not well, jumping? Yep. Right, here we go. You don't dance with devil when you fail moon on. Because you can't jump and press up at the same time in this game. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid game. This is the Sega version, everybody. Resident Cheetah is the best. You're not wrong, Bubba. Hey, Bubba Ace, what's up? What's up, Omega Jack? It's weird watching a licker try to fight a cheetah. Oh! Get, well, get, they don't hurt you in Super Nintendo! And they're still following the angel! And they're still just attached to you. Oh my god. This is so... lame. Oh, I think Sega Genesis, my favorite games, are probably... I, I used to... like Sonic is great, but I loved the X-Men games for it. it. I think that was, uh... Was it Children of the Atom or something no, like no. that? No, uh, no. Uh... The Adam one was a, a fighting game for the arcade. Oh, you're, yeah, that's right. Uh, it was just X Men and no, X Men the, Two Clone Wars. Clone Wars, that was it. Yeah, okay. I didn't. I thought I was wrong on that because it's Star Wars. Um, <laughs> yeah. But no, both of those games are absolutely amazing. I just found them online, so I'm probably gonna order both of those. Oh yeah. All right. I meant to like let you borrow them. Don't remind me next time. Get. Out of my way! And into my car. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going for. Uh -huh. Hope you're paying attention because you're playing the Super Nintendo version. You're gonna see a vignette. See, this level doesn't have a vignette. No, no vignette. It's not even a 
It's not even an Instagram filter. <laughs> All day she's at work and she just texts me pictures of her with like a new filter. She's like, huh? How about this? Like, oh man. <laughs> I'm a kitty cat now. <laughs> not... I hit my job. <laughs> <laughs> not far off with the kitty cat. <laughs> yeah. There was a cool outrun filter that very synth wavy. Yeah. Like, I was like, wait, wait, wait. I don't know how we do that. <laughs> See, the bats don't so much hurt you, they just... No, they do hurt you. Oh, did they? they uh, did. It looked oh, like they were just, they, like, slowing you down. They do. They slow you down. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that way, they do both. Yeah. I could do both. Get you a bat who can do both. <laughs> nice pants. I don't have pants. Prude. Okay. Oh, uh, you know what this background just reminded me of? A boy in his blob. I never played it. Oh, God, I needed that! <laughs> <laughs> okay, you want to see an impossible boss? I don't think I'm going to make it to the final boss, people. This is tough. Ow. Oh, no. No. Wait, there's one here. Yes. That's what... Wait, I'm going to have to jump, but I can't. Stupid! Dad! <laughs> all right. I just can't get hit at the boss. That's all. That's easy in this game. Uh, you know what else I'm gonna throw in is not maybe not a favorite game, but a game that I absolutely loved: Earthworm Jim. Oh yeah. One and two. Uh, two we haven't reviewed yet, so. Ooh. Yeah. And people, people are. Uh, they all want right. They want it bad. All right. So this boss sucks. Oh, yeah. I'm only gonna do him three times. Wait, I sounded wrong. I'm only gonna stick it to him three. No, wait. Uh, I'm only gonna put stuff in. No. Mm. I have both games. Snot wasn't in the sec the first one, right? Snot showed up in the second one, or was yeah, he the one, one in his backpack? Yeah. yeah. He was only in the second one. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. You did fight Major Mucus, though, I think. Yeah. What was his name? I think. It's not a problem. The clever names, Lorenzo Soil. Yeah. yeah. God! <laughs> that was the first time I heard, uh... <laughs> that ver the that movement of the Moonlight Sonata was in Earthworm Jim 2 when you when you have to run against Psycho at the end. Yeah. I was like, this song is weird. Oh, and that's probably where I first heard the first Moonlight Sonata, the other one that everybody knows. It's Resident during, Evil. Uh, the piano in Resident Evil. No, Earthworm Jim 2, I played that way before Resident Evil. Really? Yeah, yeah I guess so. Yeah, Resident Evil, the first one, was PlayStation. Um, What was the, the boss? It's when you're the... The Billy people. <laughs> that's what it was. When you're like... Um, Red thing? I mm -hmm. forgot where you are. That's when you're playing Moonlight Sonata. There's a lot of playing Beethoven in that game. Yeah. Two movements. The classics Sonata. for a classic. Brr. And then you had to do that trivia after you get to the end of Billy People. Brr. And the question's never... The right answer was never the right answer. Mm -hmm. Why did the tiny bats hurt me? Um, for Hobgoblin, uh, I can't enjoy this game as an adult either, so I don't feel bad. And they got a respawn, so I can never get there. Right. And it's just a vicious cycle. Maybe you should just let that one go. <laughs> no, Pat. Let it go. It's not, not how I work. Stop singing Frozen at me. That's right. I hear, I hear the underlying harmonies. Let it go. Let it go. I got it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I didn't forget this time. I don't forget twice, Chester Cheetah. I don't forget twice. So what do you guys think of the uh, Dark Phoenix trailer? God damn it. It looks better than the first trailer. Definitely. Yeah. And like I said, it looks better than Apocalypse. Apocalypse was just awful. I didn't mind Apocalypse. I <laughs> hated it. Like, see, now my thing is I grew up the comic nerd, so I, Age of Apocalypse in the comics, uh, one of my favorite actual stories. Uh, oh. But, like, uh, that would have been so good if they had done that, but they kind of mixed it more with the 80s. Yeah. Story, so didn't do that. I 
like with the whole time travel thing. Like when they, uh, I actually really liked Days of Future Past and the future, and they had Blink and everybody. That like they should have carried on with that. Like that's what I wanted to see. You know, you had like the one on or the one-handed Wolverine, the one-eyed Cyclops. <laughs> Not just a euphemism. Uh, <laughs> Why is this doggy so hard to kill? No! I can't even tell if you're hurting it. I am when he throws his arms up. Uh, get back here! Get back here! No, I'm not ready for the rocks! <laughs> can't handle the V8. It's kind of trippy on your TV. Like a yeah. Trail behind the rocks. Yeah. HD TVs just can't keep up with tech. They, uh, <gasps> nice, the, the technology of uh, Walgreens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I blew I had, it! I had the laugh. They make a hell of a video game and a humidifier. Get back up there, boy! Get up there! Uh, no! <laughs> Two more. Two more times. <laughs> God, and you're playing Super Nintendo. I hate this game. You know what's great? The Super Nintendo doesn't have a limited amount of continues, so you can play it forever and mm -hmm. ever. Uh, Chester Cheat uh, teaching kids to play with matches in caves, no less. <laughs> this, is how, this is how it started. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh. mm. Slipknot, Slipknot remaking the Mega Man songs with, uh, that would make my day. <laughs> yeah, Mega Man was, I think me up to, like, Mega Man 4, I was all about it. I don't know, even, actually, up to Mega Man X. So, I am working on a new episode of What's the Difference, everybody, and I'm, sh I'm expanding it. I'm not just doing Sega CD anymore. I am actually doing the first Mega Man game versus the first PSP game. Mega Man Powered Up, the one we used in the yep, episode. Yeah, the last one, yeah. So, I'm excited to expand the series to other consoles. I want, like, uh, just, uh, for everybody out there, if you don't remember it, Google it. Uh, the very first Mega Man game for, like, the, the original Nintendo, the cover art to the box is the creepiest shit you will ever oh, see. Yeah, everybody knows that. Yeah, it just, ugh. I wore that same suit to my wedding. Yeah. <laughs> It just looks so weird. Get it! Nailed it. Did I nail it? Oh! Yep. Oh, I gotta, gotta get the thing! Damn uh, it! Oh! No, your giant head missed it. How did my giant head miss it? It's like, it looked like they took the Omega Man and just put him in a helmet. Shit. What is it, Pat? Just get out loud. I can't, I can't read. There are uh, far creepier cover out, out there. You're not wrong. There are. Oh, there definitely are. Yeah. I think the one the with the, the Super Nintendo one with the old man on it. That's a creepy one. Family or something. I forgot what's going on. I don't remember that. Some space shooter with an old man on it. I forgot what's going on. <laughs> an old man in a banjo. Get off my lawn in space. An old man in a banjo. That's a different... Uh, what is the name of that game, guys, with the old man on the banjo? It's a Super Nintendo game. I don't remember that. Oh, come on! Hit the doggy! I think this is it! I figured it out! Oh, come I'll on! Figure it out. Why did you kick the damn rabbit? I <laughs> have figured out your weakness. Beating you. To death. Yes! There you go. I did it, people! I did it. Pat, give me beer. Please. Oh, we have that. <laughs> Thank you. Phalanx. I was right. It is Phalanx. Thank is you. it? Yeah. I don't remember that one. Maybe I blocked it from my memory for it's reasons. It's just, it's, it, you can just Google the cover. It's a freaking weird cover, man. Yeah. <sighs> ah, the taste of victory. Oh my God, I'm getting attacked. <laughs> Oh, this, this song sounds great. <laughs> We're playing the Sega version. So this is funny. You know, the sneakers make you run. Tango right? down. So they're in the beginning of this stage, right? Great. So I got the sneakers, right? Yes. So I can run. You can't run. 
But uh, why can't I run, Pat? Because I have to fly. Because I have to fly. Here we go. So what's the point of having sneakers in this stage? Uh, to really, really dig into the side of this thing. You know, faster, up, and down. <laughs> and the cleats, right? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see if I can make it to the boss. Dog. Dog on bird. Dog on bird action? That sounds weird. Mm. I know. Only one of them is a mammal. <laughs> God! <laughs> Why are the mosquitoes so big up here? Does gravity make them small? Who hurt these squirrels? Why are they so angry? I think they are uh, rejects from Sonic. <laughs> God. Or uh, rescue rangers. <laughs> rescue rangers. When's your birthday, Pat? We gotta do a birthday stream. April 19th. All right, there you go, everybody. Around April, we're gonna do a birthday stream for Pat. Mosquito! You can read them out loud. It's alright, man. It helps me out. I'm I liking uh, the Hub Goblin one. The guy on the uh, Super Nintendo box of Phalanx is actually vegan. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> That's a shot at me! Yeah. Me I, had, I had to eat so many of those fake vegan. Cheese they weren't fake things. vegan, they were real vegan cheese puffs. Yeah, I know, but the fake food. I mean, if I'm gonna eat fake food, it's gonna taste delicious. You can't call Cheetos real food. No, I can't, that's why I said fake <laughs> Fucking delicious. <laughs> I was never a Cheetos guy. I made it to the boss, everybody. This I like the crunchy Cheetos, not the puffs. That was always my thing. I can see that. This is tough, because I gotta get the bird. But you can't get the bird, because there's the missiles. And putting pop. Shit, we can't do Bill Cosby anymore. <laughs> no, enough people did Bill Cosby. <laughs> Without permission. Mm -hmm. well, now he's getting done. There wah, we go. Wah, wah. I don't know how I did that, but I did that. I want to do that again. Uh, Hurt him. If I beat this game, that'd be incredible. Not gonna. How do I... Get up there, you stupid! <laughs> How did that hit me? That hit the caterpillar thing. Ah! I'm only doing this. You put your head two right more into times. It. Right into it. Mode seven. Nailed it. Flaming hot Cheetos. Oh, I suck when it comes to heat. I, I'm a. What did you think of the 90s X-Men cartoon? Fantastic. Oh, the best. One of the best cartoons ever after uh, Batman the Animated Series. Wait, did I? Did you just go all the way back to the beginning? Well, looks like I'm done That's playing the end of that Sega suit. Game. Uh, looks like it's time for Pat to play the Super Nintendo game. So let's let's hook that up. All right, so just bear with us, everybody. Hopefully this works. All right, so we're swapping out. Going to the Super Nintendo. You shouldn't be singing Sonic. It's Sonic. You're the Casino. Guy. Casino zone. You're the Nintendo guy. <laughs> Stick with your own cat. Tay. You made me wear this shirt! <laughs> 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 Alright. It's, uh, it's a thing. Alright. Bones going down. Alright. Have you ever played this game, Pat? Um, Super Nintendo, yes, I should say, for purposes. <laughs> <laughs> You're in for the time of your life. Well. All right, so now we're playing the Super Nintendo game. Here we go. Maybe. Am I, is it, uh... It start? Did you give me... Yeah, no, I'm hitting start. I, there. No. What's happening? Nothing's happening. All right, let's... Well, there's the difference for the next one. <laughs> the Genesis controller works. Thanks, Walgreens. 
Oh, it works. You just not. You gotta hit. I'm hitting it. You gotta hit it harder, man. Oh, great. Okay, so this is gonna go swimmingly. <laughs> I got mashing buttons now. All right, so this is actually the good Tester Cheetah game. Look how crisp it looks. It's colorful. Can you do Moonwalker and breakdancing wearing Michael Jackson? Oh, character? I used to love Moonwalker. I can't, I can't do any of those things. I think I can dance, but that's only Fucking jump. because of alcohol. Can you not run in this one? So my old childhood friend has the best Cheeto story ever. He can't eat Cheetos anymore, right? And I always love this story. It's a family friend. One time he ate, a, like, I want to say a whole bag of Cheetos. Probably he's a little kid. He ate a lot of Cheetos, right? Why can't I run? Because you don't have the shoes yet. Oh, the other one you could just run by holding the button down. No, you need the shoes. Uh, unless I got the shoes and didn't realize it. You didn't get the shoes yet. They're later. Give me shoes. So my buddy ate, uh, let's see, at least half the bag of Cheetos. A lot of Cheetos. A little kid, right? And then he ate fish. Like goldfish or like fish fish? fish fish. Ugh. And he actually got a bone stuck in his throat. So his dad takes him to the bathroom, jams his fingers down his throat, and the kid is throwing up Cheetos for the next five minutes. He hasn't eaten a Cheeto since. That <laughs> is traumatized the shit out of him. His dad kept jamming his fingers down his throat because the bone wouldn't come out. And so he kept doing it and he kept throwing up Cheetos. Oh, I love that story. That is terrifying. Uh. Hey! There you go, now you can run. You have to hold down a button to. Uh, it might be B. So you have to hold down some button. I'm right? trying. Buttons. Let me see. Hold on. Let me get me some glasses. Oh, wait, you know what? It might be the shoulder button. Maybe it's R. I think it's R. Yeah, that that's it. it. There you go. Hey, Pat, you did an awesome job in the last episode. Thanks, guys. That's from Danny. Hey, Danny. Thanks, Dan. Danny. Whatever yes. you prefer. I suggest Bart's Nightmare next. Um, not next. We got a pretty Put good it on one the list. There. I don't hate it. Uh, it took us quite a while to set everything up for this earlier, so this song is going to be stuck in my head for days. <laughs> Can you repeat the part where his dad stuffed his fingers down? His again? <laughs> Slowly. Uh huh. <laughs> Slow. Sexy. <laughs> when you're done, say, What a lovely tea party. <laughs> I think he's in Jersey. Oh, wait, you. you do you want to tell everybody who you know from that movie? Uh, not from that movie. Well, it's from that universe, I guess. Oh, Kevin Smith? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. You... Oh, yeah. We just did a show with uh, Brian O'Halloran at uh, Roxy and Duke's Dante. and Ellen. Dante. I wanted to go to that show last Thursday, but I was not I was like... Do I have to kill this thing, or can I just run away from it? Yeah, was it like your brother hosted an event? Yeah, my brother did... Uh, does, does, okay, there's a thing. Um, yeah, once a month, it's a show... Uh, Tits and Giggles. Tits and Giggles. It's uh, uh, stand-up comedy and burlesque. Yes. Yeah. And uh, his brother hosts hell of a mix. it. And uh, Brian. Brian O'Halloran. Brian O'Halloran. Dante from Clerks was there. He was on the last show. Yeah. Yeah, he was on the last show. That's really cool. I, I it, wanted to go just to like yeah, meet him because uh, it was fun. He did like he did close to an hour. Oh damn. Yeah. Was he doing like just stories or stuff? Yeah, or? pretty oh, much. Damn. I went to a a Volgerthon. Can <laughs> yeah. So it's like Kevin Smith. Like yep, his movies, and he was there. Brian, he was, mm -hmm. he was pretty good. He was, he was like talking between the movies, but like I didn't say hi to Brian because I was just like, I don't know. nice, nice guy. Like, yeah, yeah. I know. But what, what am I gonna say? I'm gonna say, are you even supposed to be here? Today? Right, you that's know? everybody's <laughs> joke. But uh, I really wanted to go on Thursday, so I could have told him that I was at Volgerthon, so I'd have something to talk about other than yeah. reciting hey. clerks lines at him. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I think. I think they were in New Jersey yesterday or today, because I think they took a picture in front of the quick stop. Oh, were they really? I think. Yeah. Now, I, uh, I filmed a couple episodes with uh, Kevin Smith for uh, Comic Book Man oh, a few yeah. years ago. Was... Look at that. He's famous. Boom. I was on I was on the TV for point three, nah, point three seconds, we'll say. Do you say. know what uh, season? 
Oh, God, I don't even know what season they're on now. Just for making that show? Uh, <laughs> Dude, if I was on Comic Book Bed, I'd know. I, I don't know. I think it's season four, episode seven, 20 minutes in. I uh, have it saved I, somewhere. Oh, I would I have know. it totally saved in my memory exactly where I was. Yeah, I don't have the shoes anymore. That's cool. Oh, launched. This adorable piece of shit killed me. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a t-shirt that says that? Yes. Finest t-shirts in all the land. Do you remember 3D Doritos? Of course I do. You know what? I remember those commercials with that chick from them. Oh, uh, Allie Larder. Yeah. <laughs> yep. She was like at a laundromat or something. Just like flinging it like boom, boom. She's like fucking Ocelot or something. <laughs> Metal Gear 3. Just ricocheting Doritos. <laughs> and getting them all in her mouth. Yes. <laughs> she seems nice. <laughs> smart. She hmm? seems smart. <laughs> What is happening? What was that? Ah, oh, that jerk. Fine! Do you have an opinion about the Toy Story games? Did you ever play them? I remember playing the first one? Yeah. Someone's asking what you think about Toy Story games. Oh, Christ, I don't remember. Uh, that was like, we're going back to the point where I remember uh, renting it from Blockbuster. Do you know what uh, you played it for Genesis? I think it played. Um, let's see, what the hell system was that that I had there? I think that was actually Super Nintendo. Whoa! <laughs> True to character. I know, yeah. No, I like uh, that. <laughs> what do you think about the new Aladdin movie? Um, are you fuck. I'm okay with it. <laughs> Sorry, no, it's a, it's a solid question. I'm just yelling at this stupid thing that. this jerk. Yeah. Fall to your death. Fall to your death. No, they, yeah. they, they don't do that in no, every level. No lemmings. Oh! Okay. <laughs> ah. I'm surprised you found the piece. And you passed the first level. I'm really impressed, Pat. <laughs> Nicely done. You hit Thanks. it with your crotch. Yeah, that's, that's how you kill things, isn't it? <laughs> that's what Freddie Mercury taught me. Oh. Too soon? You guys like 80s teen party movies like Animal House or 16 Candles? Of course. Yeah, who doesn't like a good 80s movie? Console Wars, are you planning on doing Pac-Man 2, The New Adventures? Definitely. Um, might be a worst of. I played a little bit of it with my one friend, uh, like maybe half a year ago. And we were just like, what are you supposed to do in this game? This game is not... Like, do you ever play Pac-Man Adventures? You know Pac-Man, how you love it, and it's just, like, easy. Until and, you don't. Yeah. And, and, but it's easy, you know what to do. Mm -hmm. You don't know what to do in Pac-Man Adventure. It's literally, like, an adventure game. Because you're, you're just looking at something up. from your childhood where all you're supposed to do is eat stuff mm -hmm. and not run into ghosts. So, really, true to life. <laughs> but it's, like, now you have to, like, observe, like, every object and be like, do I need that now? Or yeah. it, It's not, like, a platform and action game. Like, like even this is better. <laughs> I know what to do. <laughs> yeah. care how cute you are get out of here what was the inspiration behind you starting your channel uh i've talked about this before uh, i i was well, obviously I was a huge angry video game nerd fan <laughs> so i thought those videos were fun um so part nope. of that also part of um the nostalgia critic i used to watch he used to do um some videos called old versus new where he'd compare old movies and remakes it's kind of a podcast I'm working on right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, uh, also was inspired by Kenny versus Spenny, a very hilarious uh, competition between two friends. Uh, it's a great show if nobody's ever watched it. It is hilarious. Like They have competitions like who can do the loudest fart um, and who can go the longest without laughing. It's just stupid competitions, but it's great. Um, and I think the last thing was Ego Raptor used to do sequelitis. That was a great series, and I was like, oh. I'm just that's... wandering around at this point. I was like, <laughs> listening, I'm like, uh-huh. Okay, uh -huh. so what you have to do, I'll explain what you have to I'm do. I'm supposed to go up. Obviously, the things you're telling me. You have to jump, run and jump, and then there's a vine. Yeah, I don't have shoes to do that. Okay, you gotta go down here. That's what uh, you should That's why. That's kind of what I'm looking for. And, Creepy uh, crawl. Ooh! And I remember one day I was looking at music for East 3. I had it for Super Nintendo, so I was looking up for the music, and then I accidentally found the Sega soundtrack, and I was like, this is so different. 
man, somebody should make a series where they compare this. And then I was like, that should be me. <laughs> so that's how I did it. <laughs> the rest is history. There you go. What podcast? I'll, I'll talk about that podcast when it's ready, Blade Blur. <laughs> yeah, the Sonic the Hedgehog movie with Jim Carrey's Dr. Eggman. Ooh. Ooh. That's, uh... Wait, Robotnik? Robotnik? He's called Egg... The kids call him Eggman now, because that's what he's called. Yeah, you didn't know that? <laughs> Old man Pat here doesn't... <laughs> this bothers me. <laughs> I know. Robotnik. Eggman. What is he? John Lennon singing about the walrus? Yeah. Cuckoo, cuckoo. <laughs> Dan, what is your dream job? Uh, I don't know. Maybe playing with pandas all day? That'd be kind of <laughs> sweet. We need somebody to play with these pandas. Yeah, I uh, was wrong. I was going to say reverse handy, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> reverse handy. <laughs> Hand job tester. <laughs> Fluffer to the stars. No, I went, uh, I went adorable with my answer. Pandas! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, mother. Greg, update, please. Um, I don't know if you were at the last stream, but, um, you know, Greg was actually hung out. He came after the power hour, after all the madness of drinking, but I still drank a lot. Um, I heard stories. <laughs> you know, we were just hanging out. So, uh, he was doing all right. This is where I stab things. Do you not know where to go? No. Okay, yeah. Here, go down. I'm just... Um, I, I thought I'd been <laughs> going up the whole time right, on purpose. Then, okay, now you have to run and jump from here to the right. Mm -hmm. And you're going to have to grab onto a vine. Mm -hmm. Classic. You sound like my dog when he sounds like a cow. <laughs> Missed it. That vine. Yep. yep. You, got, it. you got to really grab it. And then you got to swing back and forth. But don't jerk it too hard. Go on. <laughs> but slower. <laughs> Constant eye contact at all times. <laughs> Sorry, this isn't. Oh no, people like watching you suffer. I, I think they I like, like it. doing well. I think they like it more. So every time Pat fucks this I up, learned I'm it from gonna watching you. I'm gonna drink. You gotta grab onto it, Pat. I'm trying, I'm you trying. Gotta grab on. Sometimes you gotta yeah. use two hands. Grab on. Just give it. <laughs> give it your all. Grab it by the haunches. <laughs> Dan, favorite beer? Um, I don't know. I guess. Oh, there you go. You, you, I don't know, I guess um, if I get to have any beer, I, I, I like Hogarden. That's my go-to. Really? Yeah, I love Hogarden. I like that. my Belgian wits, my uh, my barrel-aged bourbon, like bourbon barrel-aged stouts. Those, those are my go-tos. I love Hogarden. If I was like, if I go to a beer garden, that's most likely what I'm going to get. Beer garden. I haven't been to a beer garden in fucking forever. Yeah. Once spring comes, I'm going to hit the Asbury one. Asbury one. The beer garden. It's... But it was called the Beer Garden. I don't know about that. I always go to the one in um, Jersey City. Okay. The Zeppelin Beer Garden, that's what's called. How am I not grabbing this? <laughs> I just keep going by it every time. That's what she's it. Yeah. <laughs> every time Pat misses. I need another beer then. I oh, I know. I still have some. It's just all the way over here. Good choice. That's right. Hogarden is good. That's awesome that you love Hogarden, dude. Yeah. I should bring some Hogarden next time. Not opposed. I've actually found some good. Uh, they were, 
I found one Belgian that was really good, and I only bought it because it was a cool uh, label. That tends to win me over. But uh, it was called Lucifer, and it was, uh, I think it was a, some kind of barrel-aged uh, wheat beer. It was fucking delicious. It didn't last good. long. Maybe, you know what you gotta do? You gotta let go, drop a little bit, grab on again. I'm not joking, but I kind of am. No, but you that's what you have to do. You're just, you're, you're too high. I'm grabbing it at the top of the teeth. You're, you're too high, you gotta go lower, exactly. <laughs> not getting any milk from that high up. Did you say Terry Bogard? Hell yeah! No! You know what I like? Uh, I like the Fatal Fury animes. Those are good. I watched those when I was younger. My nerdery is uh, far and wide, but never really got into anime. Never got into anime, eh? Yeah. I got into anime when I was like 11, and kind of re-got into it when I was... <laughs> I just belly flopped to my doom. <laughs> what is this I, I need more beer, Pat. You're, you keep falling. Yeah. I'm confused about this monkey <laughs> also. The monkey's going to help you get the motorcycle At some point. Piece. <laughs> oh god Terry Bogart turned into a woman last year? What? The Wachowskis Just kill me monkey Kill me I'm not even kidding, the Jameson's gonna happen soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, right by it. I'm having a good time watching Pat suffer. Have you two ever considered a podcast? I'm working on a podcast. I'll I'm give working you guys on one uh, myself. Oh! That's not the YouTube thing you were telling me about. Yeah. That's a, that's a podcast to you, you want to do? Well, yeah, I'm probably just gonna take the audio and, okay. you know, kind of do both. Oh, Eric! Eric Choken, $2 donation. Thank you so oh, much. Thank you, sir. Uh, <laughs> Keep up the good work. Just finished Revolution X video. Oh, fart in my face! <laughs> fart in my face! Fart in my. Oh it's my! It's not gonna help at all. <laughs> I'm go just gonna let this. I'm just gonna let this hang here. And... Dude, dude's man, <laughs> dude's hanging massive dong. <laughs> yep, that's why I, I can't not look at it. Okay, I think you can do it from that distance. <laughs> he doesn't know what centrifugal force is! <laughs> oh my god. Do you guys play new games like Red Dead Redemption 2 or Spider Man? I have Spider Man, I beat it. And I actually got Red Dead Redemption 2 from Greg on my birthday. And I haven't played it yet. I, um, I currently am afraid to download or buy Red Dead 2 because I don't have the time because I have a stupid daytime job. Uh, and I also have my own small business on the side, so time is difficult. Wait, you did ah, it! I did a thing! Ah! Sorry. Cheers, oh, Pat. Don't you dare, you little <laughs> shit! You are not! <laughs> nope! Pat, don't die. You get out of there! You can't get hit at all. I'm gonna pause this. Alright. Cheers. Good job, sir. Ah! Everybody's ears okay? Sorry. <laughs> All it took was the rage of talking about my day job. <laughs> <laughs> Gets me through it. Yep. Uh, Can I be on your podcast? Yeah. Yeah, we'll play. Because isn't it like a panel of people? Yep. Something? But it's not. Yeah, it's, it's always different people, right? Or is it I know. It's going to be different people. It's going to cha oh, yeah. change it up a lot. Yep. So, yeah. Probably the same thing. Like, start out probably doing uh, one a month. If, if we could, you know, actually get people. It's, it's just tough getting people. It That's is. What it is. <laughs> Thanks, monkey. I'm doing a pod. You know Reggie. Yeah, I told you. Yeah, I know, I've known Reggie. Yeah. Known. Weird history. Blur. We've actually known each other for years. Yeah, for anybody, if I didn't go into the history. Well, I just want to say, well, thanks, Blade Blur. Thanks oh, for the donation. We got happening? a donation from Blade Blur. Well, thank you, sir. He always does that. Wow, that just all... All sorts of fucking choppy. And I'm just like, Ugh. I beat it though. I got it. Uh, 29 and a half minutes. Does it tell me how long? No. <laughs> no. 
Just that one spot was 29 and a half minutes. So I actually, we know each other, I think we met like around the time. I would say probably 18, no, 1920. It was pre-drinking age, I Yeah, think. I couldn't drink yet. Yeah. yeah. We have a buddy, let's call him Chris. Uh, he worked with Pat and uh, Chris would be like, hey, I'm gonna invite my coworkers or let's go hang out with my coworkers. So I met Pat. Pat worked at Applebee's. <laughs> I was an Apple buddy. <laughs> he worked at Applebee's. Yeah. And I remember him being a pretty funny guy back then. Uh, and that was sober, so. <laughs> well, I remember we did get beer one time because yeah. Chris had like a friend, this this old guy named John. We were like, we were 19 and he, he was a 27 year old guy, right? So he bought his beer. Oh, did not see. Okay, that, that did not help my cause. <laughs> it was really weird too because one time we went bowling with him this 27 year old guy we're 19 and he brought an 18 year old girl with him so what is oh, i do remember that yeah, we called him coke john all the time because yep, yep. he was always sniffing yeah <laughs> we never actually saw him do cocaine but he was bitch. always like you know, took hey, me a second to remember who you were talking about but <laughs> oh, yep i do remember that <laughs> so he was creepy but he bought us beer so that was cool and uh <laughs> you can't can you no, <laughs> i was gonna say i want to try this you can't avoid it no nope. you can't avoid that into the <laughs> into the drink. So yeah, so we knew each other, going back, how many years from now? Uh, right. Sixteen, 16 years. seventeen yeah, years, 16, yeah, 17 something 17 like that. Years. Yeah. And then I. The internet didn't even exist yet. <laughs> it, it, did. it did. It did. It did. <laughs> um, and then I guess maybe a few years ago. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, uh, my buddy Reggie does stand up comedy. And I guess um, he was doing stand-up comedy the same night. He was. We talked about his brother does the ha ha's and tatas thing. He was doing stand-up comedy. It's now tits and giggles. What's up? It's it. It's now tits and giggles. Oh, it is. Yeah, they changed the name. Oh, the why? Why did they change? Uh, because they want to kind of move around with it a little bit. Okay. All right. So it's you know pretty tits much hosts the burlesque and open mic. I mean stand-up comedy. And uh, yeah, yeah, my buddy was so. doing it. And then I ran into Pat, and I was like, wait, was you Pat? Why would you put me <laughs> in the... Because <laughs> it's, it's a bad game. It is a terrible game. You're all going to die. Give me these glasses, you bitch. <laughs> uh, okay, you did the same thing, so I don't feel all that bad now. <laughs> so, yeah, I would see Pat occasionally just hang hanging out with Reggie. Uh, and then, uh, I don't know, just... I guess after Greg quit, I was just like always had kind of pat in the back of my mind, like he was really funny. Well, well, let's see if uh, he wants to do this. So there we go. That's the origins. He called Greg. me. I was like, "Hello." Is it me or you no, I showed up at your. At yeah. The, oh yeah, at the thing. Yeah. Okay. Bank. So he he actually sang that to me in person, which made it even creepier. Yeah. Because I I really shouldn't have worn the wig and mustache. That's true. I, it was over the top. He walked in with a big clay sculpture of a head. I know. And Is I made that him, real? I made him close his eyes and touch it. it yeah. It was a little too much, but at the time it seemed like a good idea. <laughs> right, that's that's for you. That's that wasn't towards you guys. That was at the TV because they're. Uh, I don't even want to continue. <laughs> what do you do? What do you plan on talking about in your podcasts? Well, they, it's pretty much both of our podcasts are gonna be movies. Yeah. Uh, different I, topics though. I'm gonna do something. I don't want to get into it now until it's released because I'm really excited to share yeah. it with you guys. And I guess, yeah, you don't have Mine's to Mine's going it. to be similar and nerdery. Uh, so, you know, I have friends who are uh, graphic designers and comic nerds, video game nerds, movie nerds growing up. I'm a big movie guy myself, always have been. Pat has the same Shawshank Redemption DVD that I have, like the in the in the in the cardboard. In the cardboard. That was, uh, <laughs> it I was believe, one of the first ones. Yep, the first three DVDs that I bought. It was Shawshank, Green Mile, and The Shining. Jeez. Oh, and then Stephen King much? Actually, no. I'm sorry. It was uh, The Shining was later. Jaws. Jaws was earlier. Okay. All in the cardboard. Fold uh, the goodies with the snap. How did that happen? Did I play Willow on Dreamcast? You tell me there's a Willow game on Dreamcast? <laughs> Whoa! How am I missing Hold the on, snoots? I, I gotta get on that. Right in the snoots. I when, bet I'm gonna. Where play can the we? Uh, the podcasts aren't ready yet. Um, hopefully, mine will be ready next month, which is going to happen in an hour. Uh, no, no. Nope. Sometime in March, hopefully mine will come out. I don't know hey. when Pat's is going to. 
still working on it. Uh, but just recently got a new camera, got uh, some new equipment. You know, make it all all professional. It won't be at all. <laughs> so I'll definitely let you guys know when my podcast is, and then yeah, we'll definitely announce pot, Pat's podcast too on the channel. Can we just talk about what's on this hippo's head? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Hint, there's two of them, and it rhymes with halls. <laughs> Does anyone play Wild Wild Quest? I have Wild Wild Quest. I played it. No, I didn't play it. I just got the opening shot of it, so I actually haven't played it. I'm going to want that. This song is actually catchy. I'm sorry, I'm busy killing smug snails. Look at that look. Mm. You have to bounce off the B to bypass the guitar, is what the guy's saying. Uh, I believe that. Um, also, thank you, because I'm just now realizing that's a B. <sighs> Is that a B? Yeah. Oh, he's I not, get it. he doesn't I have any yellow. Is that, so that's not a huge oh, between see, his legs. <laughs> I tried running, <laughs> that's a, and that's a now stinger. there's too much on the screen, so it's just all choppy. A little slow down action for you, eh? <sighs> yep, not helping anything. Wild Wild Quest is a bit on the shit side. <laughs> You mean not as good as this game? <laughs> well, then I won't. I refuse to play it. Yeah. Come on, really? Pat, there's another guitar for you up there. <laughs> there are definitely more guitars in this game. Let's go, dickhead. <laughs> <sighs> ah, yeah! He's the angry Pat. Nerd. It's not just a character. <laughs> <laughs> you want to move? What's the? Oh yeah, here's a good question for you, Pat. What's the angriest you ever got at a video game? What did you do? Oh god. And what did you regret? <laughs> I got two answers for you. Fortunately, um, Nintendo growing up, uh, they were tethered, so that wasn't a problem. Um, I remember having to replace Xbox controllers for the original Xbox because <laughs> those were not tethered, and you just whip them. So yeah, uh, literally had one just. Poof, so I guess we'll go with that. That's, we'll call that a good one. Never broke a TV, fortunately. Oh, yeah. Never broke a TV. Yeah. Mine is... I have two things. I, Ocarina of Time, one of your favorites. Uh-huh. I was playing it, and I died some stupid fucking way, so I got mad, and I threw it, mm -hmm. and it bounced around, and wouldn't you know, it happened to land on my $700 classical guitar that I just bought, mm -hmm. and it cracked it. Lovely. That was just like, maybe I have an anger problem. <laughs> that was one, that's my big regret. I had this new, brand new, beautiful classical guitar that I just spent so much money on. Yeah. I fucking cracked it because of gamer rage. And then the other thing I did was I took the original Final Fight for Super Nintendo and I actually took it outside and I had a big magnifying glass and I lit it on fire. Ah. <laughs> you know, normal thing. How? <laughs> hey, B. Eat a dick. Mind your beeswax. Yeah. Well, not not getting over that one. You gotta love streams like this. This game is awful. We should stream it. <laughs> <laughs> Just watching me get angrier and angrier. Your friend broke your GameCube blade blur? Oh, jeez. Someone just got more hoodies. <laughs> Noise. See, it's a pretty catchy song. It's awful. It's going to be stuck in my head. They're all going to get stuck mm -hmm. in your head. Uh, just open that up again. Every time I try to run, it just there's too much stuff on the screen. We're just like, no, can't. you're yeah. like Neo in the one. Look at me go, dude! I thought you were gonna just no nope. jump on top of everybody. I could have if the damn screen uh, kept up with me. <laughs> That's funny. Love Ace, your comment almost got like flagged because you put Dick in it, even though he said Dick Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a name, damn it. <laughs> A hell of a detective. I'm going <laughs> to fall in the water again every damn time. There's not 
Right, like, unless I, cut, I hit it with a run. God, Dick Tracy. I bought that. That was a terrible That game. was awful to play. I love the movie. I still love the movie, and I would love to see it redone, like, Sin City style. But, uh... My buddy and I used to call Madonna's character... Oh! We used to call her the booby thrower. The booby thrower? She would just throw her boobies at you. Okay. And then every time we saw her on screen, we'd say, look out, it's the booby thrower. We'd actually hide. Oh, no. And, Terrible. And, and then one time, <laughs> one time, my mom was in the room, and he said the same thing and hid. And I was just like, what? I don't know what he's talking about. This this pervert with these words coming out of his mouth. I, I don't know what he's saying, Mom. So, yeah. I threw my friend under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> what is this, Battletoads? Don't hit the logs. <laughs> don't hit the logs. <laughs> this is the furthest you've made it. Very nice. No! Uh, I feel like that one was questionable. This is like Aladdin for Genesis. Uh-huh. The lava? Yeah. yeah. Hot lava. <laughs> Lord's lava. That was actually a great game. Dick Tracy on Genesis? Is there a no. Dick Tracy on Genesis? Uh, Everybody just wants to write Dick Tracy so their comments could get flagged yeah. by YouTube now. I don't remember what system I... I want to say that was an original Nintendo, but I don't know. I don't remember. No, no, it was a Nintendo. It was, right? Yeah. yeah, okay. All right, we get it. Can I just get to whatever this battle is? It's so easy. It's so easy on Super Nintendo, though. It's so ridiculous. It's, it's like, so long. It's pointless. There we that's go. That's what she said. Just get it. Give me. Look at that. That's what I'm doing. You know how hard it was for me? <laughs> That's what she said. Oh my god. So many Dick Tracy comments that I have to say show. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah, real monsters on Sega. We do have that. Uh, oh my god. That. Everybody's saying Dick Tracy and Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> <laughs> was Dick Van Dyke and Dick Tracy or are you just being a... He was. Dick. He was? He was. He was the... <laughs> was it the noter... Uh the hell was he was he the notary jeez i forgot the name of he was the guy who uh they framed tracy for killing what was robin spoiler name? alert <laughs> batman and robin what was robin's real name again i forget something grayson hmm. i forget <laughs> hog grayson uh i want to say richard but it, it, they didn't call him richard he no. called him something else <laughs> <laughs> sorry Yet. He's not working. <laughs> I failed the on hole. Dickard. I'll allow Dickard. Dickard. I feel like they're not supposed to be down here. I can't believe you made it to the fourth level. I'm really I'm, impressed. I'm kind of amazed myself. <laughs> it only took two continues, but First I did it. First time playing. I suddenly want to eat Cheetos. Yeah. yeah. May or may not have eaten that whole bag, so get off my ass. <laughs> get out of here. Look at that vignette. Wow, <laughs> it's so beautiful. <laughs> Life over here? Nope, guess not. <laughs> Only death. Mm. Only Zool. You remember liking this game as a kid? Wow. <laughs> All right. Officially out of out of lives. All right. Boom. Well, I guess. I guess that's it, man. Eh? I'll just finish the rest of this beer. Yeah, I have, to, I have some beer left. I'll drink some beer. You got some beers? Let's drink them. <laughs> do you have to do you have to go? We could play Joe and Mac because we never played those. Oh, I'm not going into a whole other game. <laughs> <laughs>
I, <laughs> I'm probably going soon-ish, not to get wrapped into that. <laughs> we'll chill for a bit. What do you got? You got any questions? Let me get, uh, get something. Am I going to get judged harshly? <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to judge me. Yeah, bring on the judgment. <laughs> After all that, this is the nerves, my friend, the nerves. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't want to ever see a adorable little, I, I don't, I, I'm assuming they were hedgehogs or something that kept trying to kill me. I want to say level. hamsters. That was what they looked like and then they rolled, so I thought hedgehog, you know, Sonic style, but I don't know. What is your biggest secret? That I'm your father? <laughs> Come to me, son. Favorite Nirvana album? Yeah, it de Ooh. depends on my mood. Uh, <laughs> it really does kind of depend on the mood. Yeah, it's like, do I just want to just sink into Nevermind, or do I feel like, yeah, In Utero is the one today? Mm -hmm. I don't know. But, uh, I don't know. I'll do a cop out and go live. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just, say, I'll just say I'm plugged because it makes me sound deep. <laughs> I would probably, uh, it's good, but I would have to say that's my least favorite. You can really hear the angst. It's, it's probably Nevermind. It's my favorite album. Yeah, I, I got, I gotta give it to Nevermind. I got it in Nirvana because Nevermind. I played guitar because Nirvana. I would probably Nevermind. To me playing guitar, to me teaching guitar now. There you go. There's the link. There you go. <laughs> To me being in a Nirvana tribute band right now. Hey, <laughs> I am in a Nirvana tribute band after all. Well, that is an appropriate question then, huh? <laughs> wow. It's, well, holy well done. I, I've mentioned it before, so that, yeah. that might be why I got asked that question. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you know what? Nirvana. We had a guitar. Should we play, bust out the guitar and sing some Nirvana? Uh huh. There is a guitar right there. Uh -huh. I play a little bit, but very shittily, so. <laughs> One day. I play a little bit too. I want to be modest, but I'm kind of fucking awesome at guitar. <laughs> I, uh, I basically just dick around with it. I have that, and I also have an electric guitar. I like the electric way more. It's easier uh, to play. It is. Uh, but I really just teach myself by ear and do a lot of video game theme songs and movie theme songs that's kind of my well there you go that's what i, know, teach I wanted myself. To, i wanted to start a, a video game tribute band mm -hmm. that just played video game music and i also wanted to start a movie tribute band that yep. only played music songs i said the same thing a buddy of mine because i posted a video of me doing um the, the rebel song from star wars the th rebel theme so I played that, and he was like, oh, dude, if you want to just do a Star Wars tribute band, I'm in. I was like, if we could do that in video games, sold. <laughs> Star Wars and video games. If you do just a video game cover band, you could just call yourself Blow Me. Movies are a little more difficult. Nirvana album? No, we love Metallica. We love Metallica, too. Uh, up until, like, I don't even hate Load. Everybody jumped off on Load. Load had a couple I don't hate Reload decent either. songs. Was, uh... I like did, Un did Reload have Unforgiven 2? Yeah. I like Unforgiven 2 better than Unforgiven 1. I never heard anybody say that except me. Yeah. That's incredible. I yeah. tell everybody that, Yeah. and they look at me like, what? I'm like, Unforgiven 2 is oh, so, much, so better. much better. Wow. Yeah. I never met anybody that preferred two except for me. <laughs> this is why this is happening, guys. This is why. This is what happens when doves cry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Holy shit. I've never heard anybody say that. That's yeah. incredible. Yeah, so much better. I like it a lot better, too. Mm -hmm. As I, <laughs> I think the first song that made everybody... Because that was that first album right after they cut their hair, I think. Reload. I'm um, Load. Load was, yeah. yeah. But Load also had on, or, um, Until It Sleeps, and that was yeah. the song, like, because they did a video, everyone was like, was oh, like fuck these guys. guys. Yeah, it was weird. <laughs> Sorry, we lost a guy under a bus a couple of times. <laughs> a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, the thing fell on twice. <laughs> it did fall yeah. on twice. <laughs> Cliffy B. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's sick, though. I love, I, like, you ever watch Cliff Em All? Yep. That's so sick. 
guy's a beast. Yeah. Now and there was a, uh, a tribute, another tribute too that was really good. I can't remember what it was called. I tend to uh, drunk Netflix at like two o'clock in the morning, <laughs> and then like last night I started watching. Um, One time we watched some kind of monster. No. Uh. Oh god, no, that hurts to watch. <laughs> we were doing a lot of uh, mental gymnastics. Mm. I uh, shut up. Shut up, you little man. You look like a Michael Keaton that nobody ever liked. God, it does. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Lars, if you're watching. Yeah. <laughs> Napster. <laughs> that was... Uh, ugh. I don't think I've ever seen somebody ripped apart that much of my life until he, the Napster thing. And the whole band was uh, behind it, but everybody just ripped apart Lars. It was fantastic. Even Newstead wanted no part of it. Hey, can I can I come out on camera now, guys? Get back, get, <laughs> get back in there. Get back in there. We wish we wish we could kill you and get Jason back. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I mean, Cliff. Wow. Three beers, huh? Yep. Yep. That's what it does. It's funny though, because they did the same shit to Cliff that he got all pissed off about that Mustaine did to him. Yeah. Turn the page is the best. Ooh, that is a good cover. It is good. Favorite Red Hot Chili Peppers album? Ooh. I'm not really a big fan. Of I've never been a huge fan. Uh, I guess Blood Sugar Sex Magic, the the typical. I like the one with the song about California. Oh, you see what he did there? Yeah. They're all about California. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm okay. I don't. I really don't like Keita's voice. It's just like... I don't dislike I, I've actually seen them live, and that I saw... It's funny, I was kind of pissed off because that show was the first show of that tour where it was uh, Stone Temple Pilots playing, and the, before that it was Foo Fighters. I'm a Foo Fighters fan, I like my grill. Um, I saw Foo Fighters once. I still haven't seen them. That's one on, on the list that I haven't seen. But in retrospect, kind of glad I got to see STP now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. I never saw them. Before. It's a good show. Yeah, that sure was years was. ago. Yeah, yeah, sure it was. Yeah. <laughs> Is he gonna get the guitar? Let's see. I was I was still working at Applebee's at that point, so that had to be, let's say, two thousand three. Yeah. <laughs> My Apple Buddy days. Let's see. Hey Pat, do you like Bolivian surfers? Is that a band? I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, butthole Surfers? I know that one. Favorite alternative rock band? Ooh, I, I mean, you can kind of put Foo Fighters in that early on. Um, probably Nirvana. <laughs> yeah, I'd go Nirvana or Alice in Chains. Ooh, or Alice in Chains. I'm trying to do an Alice in Chains tribute band with the same guys I'm doing a Nirvana tribute band with. It's tough. Yeah, I can uh, imagine. <laughs> But, uh, one show that I, I'm uh, with uh, the hearsay that's going on with it. Uh, one show that I'm going to, I don't care if I get fired for not going to work that night. Whenever Tool tours off for their next album, going to that. I've that never seen Tool. I never got into Tool that much. Nah. No. I mean, uh, you know, it's weird. Uh, for a Tool show, I feel like everybody uh, going there is on some sort of substance. And not my thing. So, I'll probably be like the one guy looking around like, what's happening? Where's the beer? Yeah. <laughs> Can I get some beer out of all these drugs? Yeah. Oh, it's, uh, I'm going to go to the concession stand and pay $18 for a beer. Excuse me. Hey, this one guy, Kevin, Applebee's was his worst job as a cook. As a cook, okay. <laughs> all right. I, was, uh, I started as a host and went to server. And then I became a trainer. That was awesome. I'm... <laughs> Warren Jones says Nine Inch Nails. I love Nine Inch Nails. All right. I've seen them three times live. I have seen them once. Which, it's funny. Like I've, I used to go to a lot of shows. So I actually have to think about some of the bands that I've seen. Like, I've seen Slipknot so many times that I, I actually fell asleep during Slipknot once. <laughs> at, uh, at a show? At a show. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, it was at PNC. It was it was one of the Ozfests, so it, they were they were early on the main stage, 
So they have like the whole session like, or the section off to the side where they have all the vendors. So I went over there. I think the night before, like I went on like two or three hours of sleep because the day before we went, it was a weird day. We did like paintball, like all these crazy activities. Two hours of sleep after drinking, went to the show. I just laid down on the grass next to one of the concession stands. I woke up and I was like, Slipknot! Is it Slipknot? I was done. <laughs> Wait and bleed? What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I've seen a lot of metal bands that... Some made it bigger, some just never heard of again. Yeah. Metallica? No. Nah, never saw them. Uh, I wanted to go to the big three. That was uh, them, Megadeth, Megadeth and Slayer. Uh, uh, let's see, the one time, uh, this this still kills me to this day, especially because now it's an ex-girlfriend, so that was a waste. Uh, I was supposed to go, I, I had a free ticket to a goddamn Guar show. <laughs> and I was down. I don't know any Guar songs. Obviously, I know the band. Yeah. Thank you, Empire Records. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, but yeah, didn't, didn't make the show. And uh, turn uh, it was it was like an, uh, one of the first dates, so couldn't really be like, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna not do this. I should have, but didn't. That went on for almost five years. <laughs> Damn. So, yeah, that was the longest one I've had. Damn. Five yeah. years. Almost five years. Huh? That's a long time, sir. Yeah, everyone after that's been like a year and a half to uh, <laughs> two year and a half to under. Yeah, uh, you got any shows coming up? You going to see? Um, in a complete different direction from everything we just mentioned. I uh, do kind of want to see uh, the Weezer and the Pixies show. Weezer was good live. I've seen them a couple times. I've saw them once. They, I, I think they played with Deftones when I saw them. Oh, uh, see now that I would do. Last year I went to see Deftones, and it was them and um, the hell's that? Incubus. Um, uh, I liked Mickey Miss's first, like, two albums. Like, yeah, I Science like, I like New Skin. And... That's all I like. You like what? I like New Skin, the song. Okay. That's all I really like. Yeah, they, uh, I apparently they made album. more music since I got out of high school, <laughs> because I didn't know what damn song they were playing, I was like, what is this? <laughs> and, yeah, we just, uh, some of the shows, we just, uh, you know, it's what you do, you drink in the parking lot. You know, kill the band that you want to see what? is on. Who does that? We made friends with the guys next to us. They had Jameson. We had beer. We had really good beer. We were like the fancy bitches in the parking lot. We had a bunch of stuff from Maine Brewing. Um, so we had the lunch uh, and Jameson, and we were cooking up bratwurst. So we had a lot of trading happening. That was that was a good day. Right, let's see what else was coming up. Uh... I think Dropkick Murphys are coming up over the summer. I want to see them I only, again. I only know the one song. Shipping up to Boston. Yeah, That's course. the one that everybody knows. From the Departed. Yep. <laughs> uh, Miles Kennepit was the Departed. <laughs> That's when they used that line. Yeah. I love that movie. Oh, it's working. It's working overtime. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> that we... Me and my buddy say that line all the time. Oh, 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 time. oh, oh, time. oh it's working. Oh, it's overtime. working overtime. Overtime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's working. <laughs> overtime. Uh, and then he was impotent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Ugh. I'm going to see Gary Clark Jr. in March. Okay. Uh, walked. <laughs> my wedding entrance song was a Gary Clark Jr. song. It's pretty cool. You ever listen to? Can't see. I have. Oh, he's cool. He's like bluesy. Okay. Really cool. You know, kind of like a like Black Keys ish. Oh, nice. Ish, All right. Ish, ish. I'll he, take that. He kind of goes beyond the just the blues. Yeah. But uh, I had seen a new a album of... come out. So. I've seen a lot of weird shows I never should have seen. <laughs> um, friends of mine had a uh, still have a food truck. Oink and Moo Barbecue, delicious barbecue. Uh, but they did every show at. Uh, PNC Bank Arts Center for uh, oh, I think they did two summers but then they pulled out because Aramark took a lot of their money um, thank you David for a 420 donation hey, thank you is there any reason you put that specific number <laughs> you mentioned barbecue when it comes out yeah <laughs> thank uh, you so much 
Thank you. Uh, but yeah, LA was like, I got to see Tom Petty. That was awesome. Whoa. Yep. That was two years before he died. So that wow. was that was cool. Glad wow. I saw that. Wow. One of the shows I did not expect to enjoy as much as I did. Lionel Richie. <laughs> I would not have gone to that otherwise. Like, I was there. When I got here, there was a Lionel Richie cover playing. It was me first in the Gimme Gimmies. <laughs> Hello. Uh, actually, that was a fun show. I saw me first in the Gimme Gimmies at um, Stone Pony. Asbury Park has a lot of good shows. That you wouldn't normally, like, yeah, you don't go to a big venue. Starland Ballroom, that's one of my favorite venues. Clutch, I've seen Clutch there probably five times. One of my favorite venues times. is Bowery Ballroom. Yeah. Dude, that's, I like the size, it's so small. That's why, yeah, that's why I love Just Starland. You can meet the artist, too. Yeah. Yeah, that's the best part. But hey, how about that Jurassic Park, huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Jurassic Park is always my go-to. It's just, I'll Sweet. throw it out for no reason. All right, folks. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, we are going to call it a night. Thank you, everybody. Uh, uh, it's been fun. We'll be doing uh, this again at some point. Yeah, so we're going to just discuss some ideas for the next episode. Mm -hmm. Off camera, sorry. And uh, Hush, you hush. <laughs> stuff, you know. You know, some super, super important stuff. Um, but uh, thanks for stopping by. Have a good night. I'm going to um, turn this damn music off now. <laughs> oh, it yeah, is killing sorry, me. Sorry. I should have muted this like an hour ago. <laughs> All right. Thank you so uh, much, everybody. Thanks, guys. Much love. Thank you. Bye.